Hello, and welcome to Papa Smurf's Adventures. In this adventure, we're going to be checking out crosswalks, sidewalks, and dirt. Let's go on an adventure. There's a bunch of racket right outside my house. What's going on? They're doing something out there. Let's take a closer look. I see across the street they got a little skidster going, moving a bunch of dirt. He picks it up over there and turns around and starts speeding the other way. He stops, tilts his bucket, and then starts speeding backwards, spreading the dirt. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Meanwhile, I have guys down here putting in the border for this entryway. And a cement truck going down to fill in the crosswalk. Man, he can sure throw that dirt, can't he? His pile's almost gone. We're going to have to bring him some more. Some of the work just has to be done by hand, like in the middle of that median. Here I'm showing how they've continued that border all the way around to connect up with that other curb out there. They're getting ready. Now we have a gentleman down here at the roundabout with a uh, leaf blower. That's what it is. Um, he's just cleaning up the road. What a, that's the job that's got to be. Now that they've got all the border put in, they put a stringer across to check out and make sure it's level all the way down. Well, when they tore out that piece of road, they need a little bit more fill in there. Then the guys come in and they spread it out by hand. And they're going to recheck it with another stringer. Nope. We need a little bit more down here. As they're grading up the other side. Now with the road being closed, the only way in and out of this house and the maintenance garage is through their yard and between the trees. Thank goodness there's no mobile home there. At least they can get in and out. Zooming in, we can see how just cutting across that grass and off that drive right there created quite a dip. I sure hope to get some dirt to fill that in. Meanwhile, back at this new entrance they're getting ready to install. They're rechecking all the leveling on it. Now all that fill they just put in there and leveled up, they got a Pack in, there's a guy with a walking packer, vibrator, whatever you want to call it. Yep, it's normal. Three supervisors, one worker. Later on, I hear all this racket outside again, and I come outside to see a dust storm brewing up. Yes, it is a dust storm. I can't even see what he's doing. Oh, now I see he's cutting the concrete. Why? I don't know, but he's cutting the concrete by hand. Yep, he's still out there cutting. Don't know why, but he's cutting. And yes, that dust is heading straight for me, so I'm going to run inside real quick because I don't want to be breathing that concrete dust. Well now, it's later on in the evening. They've all gone home for the day. 
So I think I'm going to come out here and take a look and see what they've done. Well, I thought they've all gone home, but there's some guys out here still working. So they have the uh, east side edging put in for the entryway here. And a big pile of dirt out in the road. And that dirt across the way looks pretty good leveled out. I overheard them talking today. When they cut this back, they're going to bring that sidewalk all the way around the corner and up to here. Interesting. Looking back across the road, we still got a few workers over there too, way off in the distance. But look at all that dirt that guy laid out. Looks good. Just taking a shot next to the bushes I'm always at. <laughs> Looking back at my home and the entryway and what they've gotten completed. They have that uh, border all the way up to that drain over here. Pretty soon they'll be putting in a curb just like out there in the median. Get the other one across the way curbed in too. You ought to be happy we do not have smell of vision because it smells like somebody turned the cows loose out here. That dirt is stinky. Yes, that's a good dark soil. Sure smells like there's more manure in his soil. Looks good when it's all spread out. Also spreads out the smell. It smells like a cow out here. Moo. But they've had a skidster out here scooping up dirt and just dumping it between the sidewalk and the curbing all the way down. And they level all that out. There they go. They're heading home now. <laughs> they worked late today. Yes, it's late in the evening. There's still piles of dirt, but they're still, still tomorrow. I think I can go for a walk too. And I had to tilt the camera down a little bit more. The sun's kind of bright, blinding. They're wrapping it up for the day. This is just showing the right hand side of the drive I was going to curve around and look up to that curb stepping out here into the middle between the two lanes where the left hand turn is going to be for the mobile home park or the turn around if you want to head back the other way I guess here's a picture straight down that uh, center median dirt piled up just getting ready to get spread Well, I want to get a picture of this uh, entryway. I'm going to have to do it in three different shots because I'm standing in the middle of the road here. It's just too wide to get in one shot. Here is the uh, left side as you're entering in near my home. Here is a straight on shot. Looking straight down Morning Dove Lane. And here is the photo off to the right, showing how the right side is going to curve down to the drain there. Yes, yeah, see that shiny patch down there? That's some new concrete they laid today on the sidewalk. Maybe we can get a picture of that later. But zooming in... Oh, they have that sidewalk connected up to the uh, entryway they put in for the tower. Hmm, interesting. Here I've taken a close-up shot of how they're going to uh, run that curbing around to this drain area. I don't know why they have that 2x4 there. I'm going to end it right there and then put in that piece later. I have no clue. You see that yellow like block right there, concrete. There's two of them there. Those were little pillars. Or, well, they used to be pillars for mobile homes, but the mobile home park been using them to block off 
side sections of the road so people can go around the boat clothes sign. <laughs> These guys just moved them and looked like they are going to use them as fill. Yes, turn around, seeing how they're going to connect this entry with the road. Well, they're get wrapping it up. I'm going to head for my walk. Yeah, well, they don't have the sidewalk totally covered. I can still get through here. Here's a sign they had at the entryway to the, the house in the maintenance garage. It's just laying here on the sidewalk. Well, they have kind of scooted them boards around a little bit. Let me tell you, it's like walking through a manure field here. Taking another photo of what they've done. What's that sticking up down there? Hey, look, it's the cap for the main gas shut off. I don't think you're gonna leave it like that. Yeah, if they did leave it like that, it's one egg with trip hazard on that sidewalk. <laughs> Well, now the marker for it is in this guy's yard. Well, I'm sure they'll put it back up sometime. What a mess over here. <laughs> they got a lot of leveling out to do. That's where they were going to put in that drive, and now they're not. Sidewalk's totally covered in manure dirt, and I think I'll walk around it. I walked out in the road and back around. Sidewalk's half clear up here. Still have this main cable from Mediacom coming through. Laying on the sidewalk in the dirt. Hey, they patched that sidewalk. Looking back here where they put in those drains for that roadway to empty out into here. They just got like trenches going across. <laughs> it's going to be hard to mow. I'm sure they're not done here yet. We'll have this leveled out enough so they can mow them, sure. Now you remember that piece of sidewalk that looked like it was all melted? <laughs> Where they had a section missing? Well, they cut it out and put in a new piece. Looks good. We can see here how they've got that manure dirt pretty much packed in on that uh, right hand side. That cable runs all the way down the sidewalk. What the heck? Well, looking off the southeast over here by CCB, we can see they have uh, part of that crosswalk put in. Now they told me the crosswalk's going in and a uh, Red concrete. Now they just have a frame built where they tore out the concrete. Hmm. Well, you can see how they're gonna have it come across. Zooming in to take a better look at what they've done. Back over here at the northwest corner. Well, I see a bunch of cable out here they tore out. <laughs> and where the sidewalk ends. Looky there, looking off the northeast corner. You can see they've got that framed out and cemented in for the crosswalk over there. Back at the northwest corner, looks like they're sloping it here to Bring the sidewalk across. Here's a closer view of that northeast corner they have framed in for the crosswalk. You can see right across to the sidewalk over there. Now up here by the roundabout here in the middle, they have a couple of pallets of turf tiles. I'm sure those are for the crosswalk somewhere. And 
they also have a big palette of these uh, fill, fill tight fiber expansion joints. Yes, fill tight fiber expansion joint. What it is, I wouldn't lie to you. Here we are at the northeast corner, looking southbound. We got the framework in for the crosswalk. A closer view of what they have to fill in yet. Then they have to do it the other side. There's the southeast corner. You can see they got their crosswalk all framed in and cemented in over there too. And they're spreading out that dirt some more. I guess they're being really picky about this because there's sections they put in and then they tear it back out and they put it back in. They want it just right. Looking southbound on the northbound side of Center Point Road, there's the crosswalk. Turn around looking back at that southwest corner again. This is looking uh, how you would come eastbound down Tower Terrace Road to Center Point Road where the crosswalk is. We have the curbing in on the south side exterior of the roundabout on Center Point Road. We are looking southbound down Center Point Road. We're going to be tearing out a section here to put in the crosswalk as well. Another adventure. I bet you can't tell which direction I'm facing now, huh? Can you? Or can you? Zooming in to get that westward sun out of my eyes. You can see way down there that piece of concrete they put in. Looking southbound down this extra wide sidewalk. This used to continue extra wide all the way down to where that section is replaced down there. They cut it, tore it out, replaced that little section down there. Why? I mean, I know this is where the crosswalk's going to be, but they already had the sidewalk that wide all the way down. Why not just leave it? Looking off to the south, yeah, we can see where they dug this out because they're going to have to put in a section of crosswalk to here and they're going to tear out that part of the road to put in the crosswalk across the road and put a piece in the middle and they got a lot of work to do yet. Turning my attention back to the southwest corner, they have all this piping sticking up. Hmm, I wonder what it's for. I would have to say the copper line coming up has to be for, for water. And the other lines, gotta be electrical. Looking back over at the roundabout, well, they have that piping coming up for the electrical. Zooming in, we can see, yeah, they have that, uh, Electrical piping come up. They got black cord going through it. Is that blue line water? Must be. They have a hole dug here in between the road and the sidewalk. They've been doing something. Now, if we turn around and look on the other side of the sidewalk, See all kinds of cables coming out of that one and that blue line running across. They must have burrowed that stuff all the way underneath the sidewalk and across the roadway to have it come up at the uh, roundabout. I'm sure they need water and I don't know why they need electric, but 
I'll probably have it out there anyway. You know, they get to a certain point and everything just starts looking normal. Looking good, too. Do you remember how ragged it was looking around this electrical box? You could hardly tell it from all the weeds and everything else. Looking sharp. Looking back at the southwest crosswalk here. Just another view from a different direction. Well, it's time to mander on home. We'll walk down this uh, south side walk. Let's see what it looks like. But you know me, I can zoom in better than I can walk. <laughs> it's faster too. Still zooming. Let me tell you, it's, it's a walk. It really is. Looking between the farmer's field and that sidewalk. Yeah, they got that pretty well leveled off with that uh, manure dirt. Yeah, they have it leveled off on both sides of the sidewalk. Turn around just to see where I came from. Looking good. Really good. Doesn't look like a mess anymore. Can we have a moment of silence? There's no parking sign. Okay, back to the video. Looking back to the north, towards the entryway, yeah, that center divider. You did a nice job on that curb coming around doing all that by hand, not the machine or anything. Looking good. Now that I'm on the south side on the sidewalk, I can get a better full view of the entryway to the mobile home park. Straight down Morning Dove. It's going to look nice when it's done. That corner by my house looks terrible, but it'll look a lot better when it's done. Trust me. Looking straight west. Yep. Still missing a piece of this puzzle down here. We just have another piece of sidewalk to put in on this end. They continue it on down to the bridge they're putting in down there. This is going to be a whole different scenario when they're done. Nothing like it used to be. Once again, turn around, show them where I came from, all the way down there at the roundabout. You got that dirt spread up to here. Still a long ways to go. But it's looking good. It really is. Imagine when that sidewalk's all cleaned up and there's grass here. We'll get pictures of it. Panning off the left, it's from the entry into the mobile home park. It's gonna look really nice when it's all done. Taking a shot at the new entry they're putting in for the, the tower. That's going to be nice. And all they've had before was just a dirt entry into it off the road. Well, these will pave it all the way down. Who knows? It's just an easement to that, but we'll see. Crossing over to the middle of the road, looking down this median they put in. Be nice once they get the dirt all in and all grassed. That's going to look really nice. Looking east on the north side of the road, back towards the entryway. We'll see what that looks like when uh, we get it all put in. Hey now, that's a whole different day. I'm gonna take a walk and let's see what they've gotten done. Well, peeking back through the bushes, 
that uh, south side of the road looks pretty good. As you can see, the sun is setting over my house. The only problem is, is <laughs> there used to be a tree on the other side of my house, which would block all that heat. Let me tell you, it's great in the winter time because it really warms up my house, but in the summer, it's hard to keep that place cool. I know, it doesn't look like they've done much. They've been working. You can see some of the dirt's been spread there in the middle. There's dirt all over the sidewalk now. Zooming in, I can still see that <laughs> cable for the internet sticking up in the air down there. And I know it still doesn't look like it, but yes, they got more work done on that south side of the road on the other side of the sidewalk. And we've got more dirt here in the median. Just look how nice that grading looks. That's gonna look really nice. It's all grassed in. It's gonna look nice. As we can see, they still have a long ways to go. They still have to go all the way down the bridge on both sides. On this end and on the other end as well. A lot of work. And they say four more weeks. I think they better get to hustling. I mean, they have this side pretty much uh, graded out. But they got a long ways to go. I mean, sure, it's just throwing dirt in a hole here and spreading dirt there. And, but there's a lot of grading involved. Hats off to them. I decided to switch it up today. I crossed the road to the south side sidewalk, turned it towards the west. You can see how they've got it graded out to that one point, that entryway into the tower. We'll get beyond that later on. Let's turn around and head towards the roundabout. <laughs> I still find it funny and fascinating <laughs> how they brought the sidewalk around the uh, fire hydrants. They could have screwed the fire hydrants back just a little bit more and made the sidewalk go straight down, but it's their design. It's cute. It's different. Hey, look there! They have that red concrete in the middle there on the, uh, this would be the southwest corner of the crosswalk. Looking straight across that, yeah, that looks nice in the road. Now they have to do it to the other side. And I bet you that tile is going to go between the sidewalk and the crosswalk on this side. Something tells me. Hmm, we'll see. Another adventure. Yeah, we've seen this corner before. Nothing's changed here. But now if we turn off to the east, yeah, they got the concrete over there as well. Looking good. Now I just walked down here to take a shot of that new section they put in. They must have damaged it somehow when they were tearing out that extra wide sidewalk. But it looks good. Look there, they have the curbing in on the roundabout on the east side of the roundabout. And here on the northeast corner, we see they have the red concrete put in the middle. Looking good. They also have it put in over here on the northeast corner. Yes. That concrete looks good. Zooming in, yes, it almost lines up with that sidewalk across the way. My problem is where you cross 
the crosswalk would be way off to the right yet. They still have to put the curbing in here for the uh, north side of the roundabout. Well, we'll get it done soon enough. They still have the curbing to put in on the west side of the roundabout. All in good time. So I'm going to head home westbound on the north side sidewalk. Yeah, they have the uh, cable for the internet going down on the side now. Now they have the opening on that old communication tower sitting there. Boy, them wires look old. They still function. They look old. Do you know what we're looking at? I do. They lowered it down. You really can't tell it, but that's that gas main shutoff. They got to level the sidewalk now. They're getting it all filled in and graded slowly but surely. Whoever surely is. Soon enough, we'll be able to walk all the way down this sidewalk to that entryway. Then we'll be able to turn and walk up the sidewalk up here to the mobile home park. The problem is, is that the sidewalk's going to come up to where they're Supposed to put in a brand new mobile home. Well, I talked to maintenance. Maintenance talked to management. Management talked to corporate. <laughs> and apparently, the company that owns the park sold that corner so that they can bring a sidewalk up to here. That means they cannot put that brand new mobile home right there at that end spot. Well, they'll figure out something. People, trust me, when the sign says road closed, a road closed to through traffic, obey the signs. Either people can't read or they just ignore it and they go around the barricades. Now there's sections in these roads where they're tearing it out to put in crosswalks and you've got a foot and a half, two foot section of road missing. There's no street lights out here. You're not going to see it until it's too late. Trust me, it's happened. So, pay attention to the signs. Thank you again for coming along on this Papa Smurf adventure. Join me next time when we see what else they've gotten done out here. they got six more weeks. More adventures to come. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>